Five habits you need to change. Take a small step every day towards your new health. You have to stop smoking if you're still smoking. It's no secret that smoking kills, despite the fact that people are aware of all the health risks associated with smoking, many still do it. It is without doubt one of the unhealthiest habits in today's society. This habit can literally cost you your life. You know, a lot of people still smoke to keep down the weight. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. While lung cancer is often associated with the most significant risk with smoking, in fact, there are many other conditions that are caused by cigarettes that can debilitate and result in premature death. Some of the most notable health risks associated with smoking include respiratory problems such as chronic bronchitis, kidney cancer, leukemia, infertility, stomach cancer, oral cancer, throat cancer, and the increased risk of stroke and heart disease. Why do it to yourself? It's the worst thing that you end up in a hospital bed and have nobody to blame but yourself. Danger, poison. Look at all this uh, stuff that's in one cigarette. Arsenic, nicotine, lapothene, menthol. You know, uh, it's used as a rocket fuel. DDT is an insecticide. These are all known carcinogens of, uh, in cigarettes. Take a moment, read this through. SF drinking. Alcohol is a substance that is meant to be consumed in moderation. Did you know that alcohol is actually considered poison by the body? This is why the body prioritizes its metabolism before anything else. Having a drink with your friends once in a while or a glass of wine with dinner is totally acceptable and actually good for your heart. However, if you start drinking in excess, and especially as a coping mechanism for problems in your life, then you're going to be facing much bigger problems. Many people overlook the risks that go along with excessive drinking, even though there are a lot of them. Some of the best known health risks of alcoholism include dementia, colon cancer, liver disease, stroke, depression, liver cancer, hepatitis, anxiety, and premature death, just to name a few. Now look at this diagram. What you damage you do to your own body, your heart, your brain, your joints, your liver, your kidney, your esophagus, your muscles, it's very, very damaging. Again, if you want to die young at a very old age, you have to put discipline and control into your life. Stop drinking calories. Nowadays, many people f uh, find water to be boring, so they avoid drinking it every chance they get. This has been made worse with many companies now making flavored water. Nevertheless, soda is still the most famous substitute for water. Nevertheless, soda is still the most famous substitute for water, even though it is loaded with calories, sugar, and chemicals. The word here is chemicals. Not only are these beverages filled with sugar and unhealthy chemicals, but they will also make you drink your calories instead of eating them, adding inches to your waistline and getting nothing in the way of nutrients for your body. The next time you want to buy a can of soda, make sure to think twice about whether you really need those extra calories. And it's all about calories in and calories out and how many calories you take in and an easy way to cut calories in your life Stop drinking soda. Are you pouring on the pounds? Don't drink yourself fat. And also, don't drink yourself sick. Eating in front of the TV. This is something that many people do, but while it can greatly contribute to poor health, may be easily overlooked. Instead of taking the time to really enjoy the food, most people would rather wolf it down while watching a movie or a TV show. However, there are several health risks that are associated with this activity. First of all, it would draw all your attention to the TV instead of your food, which will make you eat more than you should or normally would simply because you do not pay attention to how much you have eaten. You will be so distracted by what you're watching that you won't even see how much you've eaten until it's all gone. If you enjoy eating junk food while watching TV, then you will most likely form a habit of doing this, which means that you will bring a few snacks with you every time you want to watch something, or even when you're not particularly hungry. 
you know, we have a wonderful uh, ebook available to you, Stressful uh, Mindful Eating, that you should take advantage of. Steps to Mindful Eating. Ask yourself what you are eating. Are you hungry? Are you bored or stressed? Try taking 20 minutes to eat. Waiting 20 minutes. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to, it's, it's uh, 11.10, wait until 11.30 to have something to eat. Quit eating in front of the TV. You can cause you to eat 10 or more calories at mealtime and 25% at other times in the day. Water all natural and does the body good. Take small sips between bites of food. It helps you fill up and reduce the amount of food that you eat. Eating too much junk food. Eating too much, too much junk food in your house is a bad idea. Simply by knowing that you can get a junk food snack anytime you want will make it hard for you to resist the temptation to indulge in unhealthy eat, uh, foods. It's always easier to grab a bag of chips than to cook a healthy meal in order to satisfy your hunger. However, this will only make you lead an unhealthy lifestyle. Instead, you should throw away all the junk food and keep healthy food stuff on hand. Why? Because junk food has too much salt. And salt retains water in your body that will make you think you're not losing any weight. And you will get, you will give up and stop your diet. The other thing, high fructose corn syrup in ketchup, in, uh, in, the, in the bread, the salt, the, the carbohydrates, the, the damage that it does to your overall health is amazing. And it's not about taste. It's about what you're putting in your body and the damage that it does. Please subscribe, share this information, and stop these five bad habits today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.